welcome back. This is Marcia with Red Cardinal Treasures. Today it is rainy here in Florida. Typical rainy afternoon. But we were at the Sheltering Hands Thrift Shop. I have never been to this one. It looks like a smaller little shop. But we're going to go in and see if we can find any goodies to sell. So I'll meet you in there. Alright, so let's go in and grab a basket. And right away, this is a really nice looking store. And just so you know, we do get a ton of stuff today. And some of it didn't make it on camera, so make sure you stay to the end to look for the haul uh, where I show all the goodies. Here's a really pretty pink, I guess a decanter or pitcher. Looked neat until I saw the bottom. It was made in China and just a newer piece. Really pretty though. Lots of decor items. There's a bunch of mugs and some oriental stuff. And they have lots and lots of purses. I kind of glanced through them real quick here. Uh, but I do come back um, off camera before we checked out. And I did find a really great pickup. Uh, so make sure you wait for that at the end. Bunch of pillows here. I love the way they put them in the baby crib. I thought that was kind of a neat idea. And I kind of glance through them kind of quickly here and thinking I was going to come back and dig through and I completely forgot later. So we are definitely going to come back and check these out. This was cute. I probably should have gotten this one, but not being Easter yet. I just left that there. Lots of clear glass. This is a really pretty art glass kind of figurine. I don't know if it was supposed to be a mushroom, but they had twenty or twenty-five dollars on it. This is their plasticware. I was kind of looking for like turvis tumblers and things, but I didn't see any. Let's go to the back shelves here. That was a Christmas table runner, and with Christmas coming up, but it was very thin and very cheap quality. So that's why I didn't pick that one up. Everything is so nicely displayed in this store. That was a Coca-Cola throw blanket, tapestry throw blanket. I love selling tapestry throw blankets, but Coca-Cola's kind of gone by the wayside. It's not really as popular as it used to be. But on this shelf, this is really cool. This is a hand-painted gourd. Little gourd basket. And I love picking up unique things, and this is definitely unique. So we are going to pick that up. And a lot of other dishes there. It's kind of looking over. I saw the camel pillow. But again, it wasn't high quality. Once I picked it up, I was like, mm, I think they had like six or eight dollars on it, so I didn't get that either. And I'm kind of, since I'm just starting going through the store, I'm kind of being a little picky in the beginning. Just so I can kind of get an idea of pricing and, and uh, what they have. So I'm going to dig through here and see if they have any linens. Those are neat kind of Aztec, but again, low quality. This little trinket box, which had the little... Geode there. Um, it did have a lot of kind of scratches and chips in the wood though, so I'll just leave it. Look at the Coca Pellies! I love Coca Pellies. It was like laser art cut, laser cut copper, um, but they, I think they had $10 a piece on them. This is a really pretty fused glass trinket dish with the purples and blues. And I think they had $5 on it, but I love this. And it's very thick glass. So I'm going to pick that up. I really like those Coca Pellies, but not for that price. Because I only sell for about $30 a piece. It was a nice little soapstone piece. But you can see there it had the barcode thing on the bottom, so it was newer. We're just going to leave that behind. Beautiful displayed stuff. And they don't sell junk here either. I didn't see a lot of broken stuff. This was just a little hand-painted wooden fish. But, and he decided to try to commit suicide. But I did put him back. 
This was a little wobbly. <laughs> and some linens. I saw these table placemats. This um, kind of a Spanish medallion design, floral medallion. And these are indoor outdoor placemats. And it's a set of eight. Set of eight placemats. And I think they had $2 on it. I don't know if that was a mismark or what, but that's what the tag said. I'm just counting them there. There were eight, so we are definitely going to get those. It's hard enough to find a set of four placemats, let alone eight, so we are going to get those. This was like a king size like bed cover and shams. I think they had like 20 or 25 on it. And go over to the display shelves. And they kind of color coordinate a little bit, which is really nice as well. And here, this is a pulled blown glass vase with the kind of spiral pedestal on it. And again, I love selling art glass. And they did have $9 on it, but I am. Um, going to pick this up. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get it in my basket because they don't have carts here. The store is not that big, so try to maneuver this around and decide to look at these cups while I was trying to figure it out, but I think that one on the left there had a big chip. So, let's see. It will fit, it will fit, it will fit. Look at there. Perfect. Snug as a bug in a rug. This little vase here. Yeah, it was a nice little vase, but it didn't really grab me at the time, so just leave it there. Just some linens here. Those are newer. A bunch of china. And down here, this the, this was gorgeous. This is a fused glass vase, kind of like a confetti fused glass. But they wanted twenty dollars for it, and that's about what they sell for. So. Even though it was very pretty, we're going to leave it for someone else. I'm going to check out this side over here. And I spy. I spy a bunch of melamine plates. I love selling melamine. That's that hard, thick plastic. It is easy to store, easy to ship, because they're not going to break. And they had quite a bit here. They've got these four uh, kind of Spanish looking round ones. I'm just going to get them out of my way for a second. And then they have these square, also kind of Spanish, almost Talavera looking. Two square dinner plates. And then they have this really gorgeous butterfly and floral platter. So I have made up my mind because the platter I think was four dollars I believe and then the plates were a dollar each. So I am definitely going to get those but I do not have any room in my basket so I'm going to have to go up and get another one. So I'm going to put these up here real quick. And I will come back for them here in a minute. This little love coffee mug. I used to pick up a lot of coffee mugs. Now I'm pretty particular about what I get. And speaking of mugs, this one kind of caught my eye, and the reason was it was a Starbucks. A really pretty floral pattern on it. It's still only worth about $12 to $14, but 
it was a buck. So we're going to pick it up. That'll fit in there. Always space for something. Yeah, this was some of the Halloween stuff. This is really neat. This was a dollar. This is a Bath and Body Works uh, plastic soap dispenser pump bottle holder. And the little ghosts glow in the dark. So Halloween's coming. It did have a little rust in it, but I didn't try to clean it up. That was a little fog machine. I actually have a big actual fog machine. I haven't used in years, but... And that was a really pretty brown and orange afghan, but it was so thin. I don't know what kind of yarn they used, but <laughs> it was really thin. And all our holiday stuff, more Halloween. A lot of it's just cheaper stuff. So there you can see I just picked up another basket, so I'm going to go over there and ask her if she would mind putting this somewhere. And she goes, of course, give me. They were very, very nice here. Very nice. So off I go to fill another basket. And like I said, this place does benefit an animal shelter nearby so people i guess can make crafts somebody makes crafts for them to sell that was just some of the stuff they had that was all their jewelry but their jewelry was extremely high priced so i really didn't look too much through it and here i see another melamine set which i'm like okay that one's smaller so let me get the big ones in the basket And then I'll go back and pick that other one up. Get the plates. That was mom's hand there checking it out. So I get those and then I go back to getting this other lady had walked over. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> she goes, I'm sorry. So we can pick those up. I go over and check some clothes. I found this men's shirt. This is a golf, Ben Hogan golf shirt. And somebody put a flamingo iron on there. I thought that was cute. So I'm going to pick that up. And like an idiot, I saw that Hawaiian shirt with the gator iron on. And I should have picked it up. And for some reason, you get sidetracked and distracted and you walk off and forget it. So that was my miss of the day. And then back on this shelf, this is a really pretty onyx stone. That's not cracked through that. That's just the, the shading of the stone. The lid, the it's supposed to be glued, glued onto the base, and then it's got the hinge on it. But I figured, oh, I could glue that back together. But the top piece must have had a hairline crack in it, which I didn't feel. See, I'm trying to check. But by the time I got it home, the lid was cracked in half, completely cracked in half. So what I'm going to do is probably just sell the base itself and try to get my money back at least. Now here I'm back at the clothes again. This was an absolute amazing find too. This is just an open caftan. Uh, think of Mrs. Roper and the Three's Company back in the day. She used to use those, wear those big like moo moo type things. This is the same thing. It's just open in the front. But look at the colors on this thing. So I'm like, oh yes, please, in the basket. And then I found this really pretty pink quilted robe. I'm sorry, I threw it in the basket so fast you couldn't really see it, but I'll show that in the hall at the end. And this is just a little closet room they had. I saw this little um, figurine vase or planter. I don't know if this was, it almost felt like a reproduction because it wasn't really thick. It was kind of thin. Um, let me know if I should have picked that up. I don't know. This wasn't feeling her. Over here, this is a vintage uh, Lucite paperweight with an actual rose in it. And it was only a dollar. Well, that was another great day of thrifting. That little store 
was really nice. Um, it does help benefit one of the animal shelters in the area. Um, it's tied to that, so that was great that we got to help out the animals as well. So let me show you the haul. We got this really cool hand-painted leather purse. This is by Sova, S-O-V-A. It's kind of like an Anushka, but uh, it is a different brand with the leopard on that. That was really cool. This is an open caftan. Think of like Mrs. Roper on Three's Company, the big moo she used to wear. Um, this is kind of the same thing, but it's open in the front. So that was really cool. We got this men's polo golf shirt. Uh, somebody ironed on a little pink flamingo, but that's really cute. Um, it is a 3X, so that's a good size. Got this really pretty pink robe. This is a jasmine rose. A size XL with a floral pattern on that. We'll zip up front. We got a lot of melamine uh, dishes. I love selling melamine. It's just a real thick, hard plastic. But some of these can go for some pretty decent money. We got this uh, butterfly platter. We got these two kind of Spanish-looking square plates. We got this set of four Spanish round plates. And we got this tray with the butterfly condiment bowls or dipping bowls. The tray there. That was really neat. Then we got this Lucite vintage paperweight with the rose in it. And that's not glass, that is Lucite. This is a Bath and Body Works ghost soap bottle holder for their diamond shaped soap bottles. It's got a little bit of rust in the bottom, a little bit of stuff I need to get off, but I need to try to get those cleaned up. And the ghosts glow in the dark, so that's really cute. We got this little turtle wicker basket. Cute little guy. Also got the little squirrel, little whisker wicker basket. I love art glass. I love selling glass. And I do not have any qualms shipping it. I will ship it all day long. We got this really cool art vase. And this cool thing, this is a gourd basket. It's hand painted. And all these knobs on here, this is all part of the gourd. That's the texture of the gourd. And then somebody did all the painting. All the way around there. Really good craftsmanship on this. And then they take pine needles and they sew them on. This is actually sewn into the gourd. Even the bottom, the base is pine needle. And it is signed K-M-A-N with some symbols. I'm not sure what the symbols are, but that's that was really cool. Then we got these two wood burning plaques, one with the fish. That's really pretty. And the wolf. Got those two. We got these really gorgeous peacock pillow shams. I'll sell those as a set. And then we got a set of eight kind of floral placemats. And there are eight of them. And they look brand new, just brand new without the tags. I forgot these in the original video, so I'm just going to stick them in here really quick. We got this Starbucks mug. The floral design on it. Got this really cute little trinket dish with the uh, fused glass with the pinks and purples and blues. And it's a really thick glass too. We got this peacock feather design plate. A really pretty feather pattern. And this really neat cat head vase, a pottery vase by North Eagle Company. So all together with everything that we got here, we spent $76. And we should do very well with this stuff. And most of it is already listed in my store, so I'll put the link in the description below. So hope you enjoyed this, and we will see you on the next one.